Hi friends, this video is about using three processors to get something done so that you, you know, that you have the skills to return back to nature. So I was up there working tonight and, and it got late. Usually I drag everything out because I love sleeping outside. And once you get your third processor back, this is home. Okay. And have that, you know, the solstice, equinox, solstice is home. <laughs> and so we, even when I was in the city for a while there, I slept outside. <laughs> and I have most of my life, I can, I can easily say, pretty much say half the life, half the days of my life, easy, I've slept outside. So here's my third process, okay. All right, we have three processors, meaning we have a want or something, you know, that's kind of primal, like I want to, I have to go to sleep. Okay, that's processor number one. Well, the another processor that I'm using is right now is that word parrot in my head, the alphabetic technology processor that gets set that gets put into us. Now here is the key. The key is the third processor. Just to be able to conceive it, that we have three processors. So yeah, it's so you know it's like when I when I was thinking about it, it's it's like okay, I have all this in my beer. Okay, it's in the way. So I'm gonna drag this out. I'll put that right there. See if it'll stay. Funny if it falls. And this kind of stuff, lighters. I don't know. Maybe this stuff won't go, but if it won't go too far, you can't. Oh, this still is gonna go. Now this is me making decisions. And so as the third processor, it is really easy to crash over on autopilot. Cause the two other ones, if you're not aware of the third processor, cause of the other two processors, you know, ABC processor has people pushing buttons at Auschwitz. Look up the uh, Milgram experiment, I think it was. Uh, where, you know, they, uh, even like uh, they did on a Oh, I forgot what college it was, but, you know, just because of authority, they would shock a, just a general population member higher and higher because they didn't get the answer right. And, and you know, it was just, it was awful. I mean, it's like, you know, the language obedience is very strong, which brings us to the second processor. So, you know, it's like, ooh, baby, I want you. Ooh, I'm all, yeah, you're falling in love and that, that primal needs processor is going and you go on autopilot. Well, then now we got another one that easily goes on autopilot, and that's the alphabetic technology pilot, uh, uh, processor. You know, the word paired in our head, that critic, you are dumb, you stupid, blah, 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 blah. Shut up! Anyway, um, so that we, that, that's how it shuts up. It's that you're aware of the two processors, which is actually like, this is energy, moving life, CPU, okay? Physics aware energy. All right, is also part of the other processors, but you know our brains have have great elasticity. I mean, you could take away half a brain, and in time, the mostly will, will the you will recover. You know, so um, it's not a problem. You know, uh, uh, as far as processing power, it's just management of your own thoughts, and that comes from you know the the language processor. You know. It's like the, there's the physical object processor, which is the world, you know, before we had language that got us together, you know, the snakeies, the doggies, the trees all use it, it's the energy going through. And then there's, you know, now we have special, you know, deeper language, but it's not Turing complete yet. Meaning that the way we install language into children today is not, you know, universal around the world. So they process the world the same. Right now we're overridden with, you know, our language is software installed as hardware, a.k.a. scareware. <laughs> That's what I call it, you know, the version 2018 or nothing. Blah, 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 blah. You know, and then the critic in your head, K-12 baptism and all that. It's nobody's fault. It's not the living's fault. Okay, it's just that, you know, we are not aware of three processors. So if you map, we all have another video about how to map your words, how to do all that stuff, so you can uh, tame the AB alphabetic technology processor. But you also, also got to know that the, you know, the reptilian-based, you know, and, and rewarded, you know, um, living processor is there. You have another processor, and in order to be you, you have to monitor the two and be the three 
And then, because see, these two are, it's either this one's on autopilot or that one's on autopilot. I'm sure every once in a while we all take a step back. Well, that's the third processor. It's already there. It's just that we got to expand its power and that we are aware of the conceptual world and that, are, that is related and only in our species and that we inherit it instead of being inherited by it. And it's simple computer science, uh, you know, the physics of inheritance. And so I have diverted from my job enough. No, that actually, this is why I did it. And I'm going to process with three processors and pull my... I always improv everything. I'm going to pull my little thing out and see if I can grab it at the same time. These are chairs like you sit at a stadium with. They're really high quality, too. And then some padding, and, and let's see what we can do here. There's other stuff over here, too. Uh -huh. So, well, I'm going to have a hard time, third processor, looking at all, you know, this stuff. And I'm going to have a hard time getting it over this, so that's got to go over. All right, here we go. Oh yeah, it's so beautiful out here on the river. Oh, it's moving. Cool. Cool. But you can understand how, like, if I had a really, in my mind, it's so easy for us. I mean, like, what's the hardest thing to do? Relax. You'll forget. I'll tell you. You'll tell me. And I forgot. You know, relax is the hardest thing to do no matter what we do. And so when that relax kicks in, you know, that's like, oh, the third processor. Because it's so easy for our minds to get like a knot. And I really want to go to bed. But, you know, this is more important and I'm having more fun. And, and that was all because of the third processor. And, you know, knowing that, you know, about, you know, because once you use the third processor as nature, you know why you sleep outside. But anyway, here we go. I'm going to see if I can do a fold. That would be nice. Let's see what we can do. Everything seems to be moving fine. I'm going to use my light bag. I almost folded. I don't see any computer stuff on there. Okay, this is the top here, so I'll put that there. Put that there. Well, it looks like I'm gonna make it. Hmm. And then I gotta get blossoms. So I love you all. The three processors. And the only, I guess, relax is really what, because I mean, this is, I'm doing the final adjustments to the presentation and stuff and this is the first video where it's like three processors <laughs> and from now on it, we go, we're gonna go I'm not gonna mess up this time it's all on um, uh, um, and and to relax keys whenever you feel your brain starting to tighten up like if, if you have a less than good thought inside all right boom relax figure it out you got three processors and something's messed up because the less than good is in you okay and then and then it's like oh Oh, that less than good thought. I can't even use the word B-A-D because it, the whole concept of it is not really, I mean, learning is okay, but they treat like if you make a mistake, oh, your test is bad because you're learning. It's like, ah, da, ba, ba. all right, and so that, that part of it is less than good. You know, it's like we have a good and better world. All right, the, you know, there's no dead guy with long hair violence. And, that, you know, it's like a, a John Lennon song. Imagine no heaven and no hell. Well, there wasn't any and there isn't any because we're doing the language. It's like here before our eyes is the physical world. All right. And so the, I, lost track. <laughs> I lost track for a second. I've been working hard, guys. All right. And so that, um, you know, imagine all the people. And so that, that you know, that, that thing about relaxing. Oh, yeah, I remember where I was. That um, when, the, um, when you have a less than good thought, well, there's two real keys. You're, you're either not upping the love in a situation meaning that you didn't hit relax earlier and you went on autopilot and you're like, rah, 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 rah. Yeah, I mean, you're, we're all healthy cells next door. We're doing a, a unicell to multi-cell evolution and it's gonna be with three processors because we have to have an internal um, 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 evolution of communication inside of you. And, and I, as far as the trail to get, I mean, that's how I, found, I discovered this is I came from the other way <laughs> and so I have so much data to share with you that because going the other way is easy now because you got three processors. I wish I knew about three processors when I started. <laughs> and so, yeah, and, and I'm not even going to go there. My brain's just like going, woo. But anyway, um, if you have a less than good thought, all right, then the relax kicks in and you got the less than good thought. Are you not upping the love in the situation? 
meaning that we're multi-cell and it's like a healthy cell next door. Hey, what can I do? I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. It, it's my fault. However, if you have a lesson, because this person has a less than good thought in them. All right. And then on the other side of the coin, you know, it's like you got to up the left. All right. And then it's, you know, if you're blaming the living, if you blame the living for a broken species, well, you're the broken. And so a lot of times when you're blaming the living, well, that'll run you down a trail. It's like, oh, and you'll go down this trail and you'll go, okay, this particular concept influence, because they all have natural features, all the concepts, but they are unique to our species and they are inherited objects. You know, as the you know, concepts, you know, nil is an object. So, that you, so your body and mind can think of them as an object, but it has a flag on it. Okay, whereas the rest of the world, even the stuff that we made up, like uh, these headphones, a kid can look at them in Japan, China, wherever, and they're Turing complete. We must keep the children processing the world the same and inheriting the proper things, or else the earth is, you know, and that means like, you know, we're going to go to a solstice equinox, solstice equinox calendar, everything is like the world's important. And, and once you think with the three processors, you know, you can focus in on, you know, uh, there's, there's so much science. I mean, how much do you need? But language obedience is, I mean, think about the people who push the buttons at Auschwitz. Well, they're pushing the button on the earth now. <laughs> I mean, it's like the human, whatever that is, that caught up is like, you know, that, that language obedience is still the same, landed here 1492. You know, all that. But, you know, the thing is, is that because it, it was on autopilot ABC and it's not their fault. It's nobody's fault. Nobody's fault. Blame the living. You're the broken because you haven't figured it out. All right. And then, uh, and, and, you know, it's like up the love. If you blame the living, you are the broken. You know, it's like we're just ambassadors for the inheritance that has to be done. Galileo didn't have computer science. He tried 380 years ago, and I don't think he's as good marketer as me either. So, yeah, I mean, it's like, that's why I've always known I could figure it out, but it's the hardest puzzle ever. It's like, like I always joke, it's like, I'm teaching someone to snow ski, because I always, I'm physical world. I mean, that's, I've always, you know, kinetic world. That's, I, I did a test on how I perceive the world. I think it was like 90% kinetic <laughs> and only 10% like with language and, and whatever but anyway uh, uh, you know it's like I always joke that the, the you know I'm teaching somebody to snow ski who never seen a mountain and so I have you know and they've never been you know like they're from Florida or something flat, down down south where the garbage dump is the highest mountain you know they see a mountain but I'm mean, skiing down it I guess with TVs and stuff but you know you, I'm not I'm just saying is that an analogy because once you you know if you ski like a tree you're gonna fall you got to ski on that mountain like you're walking around. And so that's, uh, um, you know, that, that is it, just the physics of it, you know, and then at that angle. And it's just so much to teach and learn and, and do it. Whereas if you've walked on a mountain before, it's like, okay, I got it. You know, they like they never walked on a mountain. That's just kind of the analogy. Of, but, but it's still the thing is, is that it's a remembrance. Because even though you're doing it with three processors, you're still, you know, making decisions based on the way that a dog does. It's like a kid could be born in one country and seamlessly raised in another because the kid is turning complete. And the same with a dog or cat or whatever. Well, we're going to keep, you know, our species this way thanks to computer science and the thought of the three processors and the object concept object. You know, physical object. These are all unique to our species. Energy, matter, energy, matter. It's like too simple. And these are for the kids. I was thinking of making maybe the energy. The, this is okay. Energy was like ee, 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 right. That'd be the energy. We'll say energy with that be one processor. Okay, the new processor is two. Uh, and the one that's like you have to have energy in it and that's because that's going to be the one that's important to the kids is that because you make sure that you've got to keep the kids thinking with physical objects until they can conceive those physical objects as as a, a system design models of what we inherit it'd be easy to do, properly design i mean i you see i've drawn them on i'll put some up on there i've drawn, drawn them in the past you know how that you know the body of a man or human or what, oh gosh, I haven't used that word, um, um, of, a, of a member of our species, <laughs> you know, how it looks in a country. It's like, it, it burst, you know, how, you know, you look at every, all the states are like heart, you know, it's, it's all there. I mean, it's that we, because nature did make us. 
You know, there's this, there's this model of the cell intelligence all the way through. And so it's all there. You know, it's not hard. You just got to, you know, use the science we have, apply the inheritance, and not be a word slave. Those dang Catholic time terrorists. Oh, wait, I'm blaming the living. Oh, I'm having a less than good thought. A word slave. Oh, wait, I'm okay now. The third processor. And that was, see, you heard the word parrot. And then you heard the physics. And then I'm relaxed now. Three processors. One. And three. And this one we introduce later. Concept. No energy, no matter. It's like version 2018. In these language, it's not turning complete. Turning complete? Someday. All right, love you, friends. You. Today. Bye-bye. Wrong side. <laughs>